How's it going everybody and welcome back to some more Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gameplay. In this video, I will be providing you with some basic tips you guys can use to improve your current kill death ratio. Now obviously, this will take quite a few games to improve on. It's difficult to make drastic jumps in something that you have to be so consistent for, so in all honesty, consistency is really key when you're trying to improve your kill death ratio. So to start things off, I'd recommend sticking with an assault rifle that you are comfortable with, preferably the HVK-30 or the ICR. I say assault rifle just because submachine guns for myself haven't been too great, which is why the HVK-30 and the ICR, for my usage, I can say they're overpowered, they're way too good, and uh, in all honesty, you can just mow down enemies from long range, short range, wherever you want to be, and uh, you will be very successful. Now attachment wise, I'd recommend using grip and quick draw, uh, just so you can get the reduced sway in your weapon. Now moving on to perks. Sixth Sense and Ghost have worked out amazing for myself just because one, UAV spam in this game is unreal so using Ghost will keep you off the enemy's radar. I do believe you unlock that at level 38 so until the time being, in all honesty, all you can do is hope that you're not caught uh, running around the map when a UAV is called out. Sixth Sense on the other hand gives you the direction of enemies nearby which I believe you do have the potential to unlock with a token when the game first starts. So basically if you're within level 1 and level 10 you should be able to unlock 6 cents. Now for the most part your score streaks are the most important factor when improving your kill death ratio. Uh, if you're just an average player like myself, I wouldn't say I'm a great player, I'd recommend using the UAV care package and lightning strike setup. Uh, currently I do stand at like a 2.7 KD on my gameplay account. Whereas on my personal account where I just play with high school friends, they really don't know the game too well. Uh, I stand at like a 1.5 to 1.6 KD, somewhere in between there, and uh, I'm caught sniping pretty often. So getting back on point here, I'd recommend using score streaks that you are guaranteed to get. So for myself, I'm basically guaranteed a UAV, every death, um, care package, and a lightning strike. Uh, so ultimately, it's completely dependent on the player. If you're a good player, stick to the higher streaks. If you're a decent player, UAV is absolutely crucial in any score streak setup. Now beyond that, the most beneficial tip I can provide you with is to avoid running through the middle of the map. It's a bonehead move, I've done it myself, I still do it. However, if you choose to go through the middle of the map, be sure to take cover at all times. I myself, typically I'm just head glitching behind a high traffic area, so for example, the B bomb site on Nuketown is always high traffic, there are a lot of people running towards it, so I'll just be head glitching, getting my streaks, and ultimately just improving my kill death ratio by doing so. So all in all, hopefully this video did help you guys out, just some basic tips that you guys can use to improve your kill death ratio. Thank you guys for watching, it's been Toxic here and Matt here guys, see ya, peace. <laughs>